Hey guys, Jack Spierko here. Uh, behind me is what we have officially called a Miyagi Pond. And we built this pond about two years ago. If you follow me on YouTube or on my podcast, you've probably watched over the last two years as we've taken this simple structure and turned it into a complex ecosystem. We're growing stuff in this little pond back here that is holding about 1,400 gallons of water, uh, including things like green sunfish, bluegills, pumpkin seeds, channel catfish, bullhead catfish, and a few other things. And I've taken what I've learned over five years on this property now with this pond of about two years and with my other aquatic systems that you've probably seen on my channel over the years, and I've designed the next pond. The next pond is going to be a Mega Miyagi. We're going to go from 8x8 eight eight to 12x12. 12 12. That's actually a bigger increase than it sounds like. We're going to have close to 4,000 gallons of water to work with in this new pond. And I'm doing a spring workshop. I know that in the past I said I wasn't doing spring workshops anymore, that two workshops a year were about all we had in us. And, well, we're kind of still there because I'm going to do this one differently. Generally, if you've been to one of my workshops, you know when you come here for a workshop, it is a five-day experience. It's, it's pretty amazing. And generally, with uh, the staff we need to run that, instructors, everything, we end up with 70 to 75 people on my property. And that creates a lot of complexity just with feeding everybody, let alone with vehicles and access and all that other stuff. And it also puts me in a position sometimes it's difficult where I've got 50 people that came to spend time with me, and I can only spend so much time with each person. So what we're going to do is try to solve all of that with this spring workshop and do things a little bit differently. Here's what we're going to do this year for a spring workshop. We're only going to let 18 students come. We're going to have 18 students and a staff of like three or four total, including me. So we will not have that many people. That means there'll be plenty of parking. There's no concerns over that. Students can camp out like always or stay in a hotel or if you're local, go home each night. It's all up to you. We're not gonna have a setup day in advance. We're gonna set up on Thursday. The workshop begins on Thursday about 10 o'clock in the morning. That'll give you plenty of time to get here and get set up. Uh, and it's gonna run Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday morning by 10 a.m., you, can't, you, got, you ain't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. You gotta head, head off the property so we can start putting things back together and get ready to go back into our work week. So we're not really going into the weekend this time. That way, if you come from out of town and you want to do some stuff here, you've still got some time and you don't have to take so much time off of work. Though I do expect most of my students to be somewhat local for this one, given it's shorter. We're still going to do the cool stuff. We're going to do the barter blanket. We're going to hang out. We'll do some sort of a mead slash beer slash God knows what tasting. We'll have great food. It's just going to be smaller. And we're going to focus 100% on building the best one of these that I've ever built and I mean ever. I've got some new design components coming into this. We're gonna start out with building the physical structure, how to do that. We're gonna include the plumbing, how to do the plumbing. I'm gonna to talk to you all through the project about the biology you're creating back here. I've shown you in the past, we can come out here in the middle of summer when all the ponds around us are green, take a jar of water, drop it in there, pull it up. That water looks crystal clear, it looks as clear as the water that comes out of your sink. Trust me, it's more than just a pump, it's biology. We're gonna talk about the permaculture edge effect that's going on here. This tank may only be eight foot by eight foot, but the edge inside this tank is enormous. And we do it with really simple stuff. You can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. We'll talk about sizing the pump. What I'm telling you is when you come here, if you go home and you wanna put this in your backyard, you can spend about 800 to 1,000 bucks and build one of these, or about 2,000 bucks and build what we're gonna build all in i'm talking the habitat that we're going to create for smaller fish all the things we've learned here like i can't keep minnows in there right now because they all get eaten we're going to be able to keep minnows have breeding minnows feed those fish all in the same place with what sepp holzer would call a fish kindergarten what's that you'll have to come to find out now again only 18 people and i'm going to tell you flat out when we do a workshop where we take you know 50 students we sell out in two hours so we're probably going to sell out in like 10, 15 minutes, I'm thinking, for this one. Um, I am gonna open it to my members, my supporting members first, and that probably means if you're not a supporting member, you're not getting in. So I'm not trying to sell the membership, I'm just saying, you know, it's five bucks a month, and if you wanna take a shot at this, I, I would go ahead and become a member. If you're a member, and you're, you're planning on, go log in, make sure your account's current or whatever, because I try to be fair with this, guys. When I have, you know, 100 people that wanna to come to something that only 50 can come to, or 100 people that wanna to come to something only 18 can come to it, I try not to play favorites or put the fix in for anybody or anything like that, but this is gonna be a blast. 
And the big thing is this one is gonna be really cool because it's gonna be a lot more intimate. We're also gonna have a lot of time to talk because this project, like I said, we could knock this out with this many people in a day. We're giving ourselves two days. It's not gonna be hard work. I will say this, if you're coming, the number one thing you could bring to help out on this one is a really good cordless drill or cordless impact tool because we're gonna be using structural wood screws to hold those four by fours together. That's gonna be, carrying the wood and doing that's gonna be about the hardest stuff. We're gonna have the ground prepped in advance with an excavator. Uh, we'll push the dirt back in. I'll probably have a bobcat on site to do that. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be cool, and you're gonna leave able to build one of these for yourself. So if you wanna do it, get ready to sign up. Here's what's gonna happen. Next Saturday, which is the 2nd of March, the tickets will go on sale at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. The cost, $300, 150 bucks a day for a world-class education, hell of a lot of fun. And I bet you, you can't go out on the town for that money and eat better than we're gonna feed you. Those who have been here before know what I'm talking about. And uh, that's it, guys. It'll be a $150 deposit, and then the workshop itself is gonna be the 24th and 25th of March, which is a Thursday and a Friday. Hope to see many of you here. Those that don't get to come to this one, remember, we do the big one in the fall. We've come up with a new format for that too. This year's will be off the hook, but if you can make it to the spring one, come on down and let's build you a pond.